Well, today I get a chance to act on the summer feature. Um, right now, I've been taking care of the unit protection uh, duties and so forth like that, and I was able to, to bogart my way into a, a one-line part. I I kind of knew that if I grew my beard out, let my hair go along, because it's a 70s period piece, that I would have a chance to potentially be able to uh, be in the summer feature. Well, one thing that I do, no matter what type of role it is, how big or how small it is, I try to do, if I have time to prepare, I try to do some type of character analysis. Uh, in this case, this person is a social worker dropping off uh, a child to an orphanage. And so, in my mind, I kind of had a backstory. I decided that since I kind of trying to look 40-ish range, that I'm married, so I put on a ring. We're in 1970, so I've got the, got the tie and the shirt. And they liked a different shirt, a polka dot shirt that I got from the 70s, so I'm probably I'm going to change that in a minute and wear that outfit. Instead of my digital watch, I got an analog watch, and depending on the shirt, you may or may not see that on a coat. And this is a vintage 70s coat, and so forth, and the tie is. The pants are pretty much modern, but a pair of black pants in 2009 is probably the same as a pair of black pants in 1970, 1969. And so if you, if you, even though you got one line, I really feel that a person that is acting, you have, the, you have the chance to really help the movie out a great deal. And you do that by character analysis and also thinking about the thought process of what you're going to do in that scene. And reading the small scene, even though uh, this one line, there's a lot of things that are going on it. So there's a lot of different ways you could potentially uh, do this scene in there. One of the things that I do is especially when it's a very few lines. Uh, one is what I call stay on book, that I'm not going to change the lines around. The, the line is, yes it is, his dad was his only family. So I could do it a couple different ways. Yeah, his dad was his only family. Uh, yeah, his father was his only family. I mean, there's a lot of different ways of doing it. I try to stay on book when I'm asked to, to be talent um, for this there. And one thing that you do is that in real life and in film, you talk a little bit different. I mean, there is a, a declamation going on, da, 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 da. Yes, it is. His dad was his only family. And that's not going to work. Yes, it is. His dad was his only family. It's too fast. So you need to find somewhere in between being slow and being real when you actually are, are acting. Uh, in my case, I think something like this would potentially work. I mean, this is something he does all the time, so it's not that he's emotionless, but he's, he's this, this is the end time. He's dropped off uh, children at an orphanage and so forth. So I'm thinking, yes, it is. His dad was his only family. And then look at the, look at the characters and, and talk. And when you are acting, the, that's the biggest thing. If you're able to look and talk to the people that you're um, acting with, that's the big thing. And if you're not able to do that, uh, then it's very difficult to be uh, a successful actor or, or something that's believable. You know, I'm not making a YouTube video here. I'm trying to, um, I'm doing a role in an actual film, film, and we have, you know, 20 some of crew out here working around, uh, and lighting and everything going on from the directors, uh, right on down the line to the grips and so forth like that. So, if you go in there and you drop your line and don't know what you're doing, uh, it's 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 not a good, it's not a good place to be. So they'll put all makeup on me in a minute. And uh, because we're shooting the high def, and normally on my own YouTube videos, I never wear makeup. Uh, and I got this beard here, so I don't know how how good they're going to be able to to do with the makeup scene and so forth like that. And acting for film is uh, it's, it's a really great challenge, and it can be really scary too in a lot of different ways. So we'll just see uh, we'll see what happens in a couple months from now when it, when it comes to DVD. Just to show you that I have gotten wired. There, so I got my lapel mic going on. Let's see back there. You actually can see the unit right there. So I'm wired for sound and uh, still need to do makeup. You notice I'm in a different shirt now. I got the polka dot shirt going on. And I like the Buddy Holly glasses, so we're going to go with the Buddy Holly glasses today. They're wide. Right now I'm getting some makeup on, so I'm going to take off my glasses and got a beard, so there's not a whole lot you can do. But we'll see what. Thank you. <laughs> Makeup artist. And powder just basically just takes the shine away. And so it's going to go in your nose 
and your cheeks and your forehead, and that's. Now, is this like is this special makeup? This or is the same makeup you get like in stores? No, it's exactly the same makeup, and it's and it pretty much serves the same purpose as uh, women when they put on powder. It's just to cover up the shine from all the rest of their makeup. I think this is the only the fifth time I ever had makeup. The first time was when I was on Tech TV and a couple of the vignettes, and. Uh, that I've had. So I think it's like the fifth time I've had makeup on. So mostly I don't really have makeup on. But mainly it's just to keep the shine off the you know, off the shot. So mm -hmm. with the nerd glasses back on. Ta da! So that's well, second. been on the set for a little while right now and probably about two hours saying the same, same line and so forth. And it's a lot of fun and a lot of really cool activities going on. And there's still like a little bit of stress going on. Am I going to drop a line? Am I not going to say it right? Am I going to say it too fast, too soft, or too whatever? And then make sure that I keep my blocking while I walk in and walk out as well. So, going great so far. Well, I am wrapped today. I had a good time saying my line a couple of times and standing there and so forth. So. Like I said before, it's really hard a lot of times when you have one line and you got to stand there. Uh, people don't realize how hard it is actually to stand there and not do anything. So uh, my whole point when I do a film is uh, pretend it's a billion dollar budget and that my role is pivotal, pivotal to everything and to the, the film itself. So hopefully it turns out great and we'll find out in about a half a year from now. Let's see. Oops, I'm sorry.